Too many famous exports, certainly not in the realm of pop superstardom. But a young woman from Reykjavik has changed all that. Björk Goodman's Dottir, better known as Björk, has shot straight to the top of the charts with her first solo album. And fashion and music magazines just can't get enough of her. She's in London to promote her latest single, and Samantha Norman went to meet her. Everyone wants to talk to this young woman. Just about every magazine and newspaper has booked her up for interviews and photo shoots. And with what seems like another case of overnight success, Icelandic phenomenon Björk Goodman's daughter has become the next big thing in pop. A lot of people won't know who you are. Could you describe yourself? I'm uh, an Icelandic housewife in the 20s who uh, just moved away from the island and became uh, an immigrant housewife in London. Well, up to a point, Björk is Icelandic, and although she could easily pass for 15, she's in fact 28 and the mother of a six-year-old son. Up till now, of course, she was best known as the lead singer of the Sugar Cubes, but she's moved to London, launched her first solo album, the aptly named Debut, and her brand new single, Venus as a Boy. Being heralded as the next big thing, is that a, a big pressure for you? Getting a lot of attention, it's a bit confusing. I'm, I'm very, very pleased, you know. But um, I don't want people to get too excited because basically I'm going to let them down. My music is lucky that um, the, the mus British music, music pr uh, business seems to be very bored with itself and uh, seem to want something the more different from what they had, the better. And in a way that was good for me and in a way that was bad for me. Good for me because people were interested and bad for me because people want me to be as weird as possible. And they wouldn't uh, accept me as, uh, as a human being. They would want me to have like three noses and wings and, and talk uh, Martian languages. And you're not? No. I mean, from my point of view, I'm definitely not. But then again, I'm comparing. The only thing I can compare to is myself. And compared to myself, I'm very normal. You're also becoming a bit of a sex symbol these days. How do you react to that? In a way, um, I'm not too bothered, you know. In East London, this is Samantha Norman for London Tonight.